Hi guys, it is Christmas Eve, so that is December 24th. Today it is a Saturday. I have not vlogged in a hot minute. I've been extremely busy. So I am finally off today and I am off on Christmas Day as well. I had a bunch of errands. No, I have. I don't know why I said had. Um, I have a bunch of errands to run today, but how am I starting off my Christmas Eve? by getting my eyelash appointment canceled. That's annoying, but it is what it is. However, I do need to continue on with my day. So I am continuing to get ready. I just did some sunscreen. I did my facial routine sunscreen. I put on some eyebrows. Um, and because I have no lashes, I have to go in with an eyeliner and head out to Waikiki to take care of some errands. I didn't buy my husband a Christmas gift. But to be fair, I don't think he's bought me one either, unless he's really hiding it. So I feel like we're on the same ballpark, just trying to get everybody else's gifts done. And I do have to deliver some gifts as well. So let's see how that goes. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Also, my hair is crazy because they were in braids, so I took them out, so that's why it's looking like this right now. Hopefully, it will be okay and not get bigger from Hawaii's humidity. We'll see. Also, since, you know, I'm vlogging, just wanted to let you guys know, too, Millie's got so many gifts. I'm going to share it with you guys because one of the gifts that she got from my aunt is crazy bizarre. I literally had to look at it twice to see if it was really what I was seeing. So I'll share, with, I'll share that in this vlog to tell you what she got. I mean... Millie is just the most precious thing ever, um, so I'm not surprised that she's got so much gifts, but when I share with you guys the gift my aunt gave her, it's crazy. Um, I can't find my eyelash curler. How annoying. I guess that means I have to buy a new one. Ugh. That is such a cute noise. What is it? It's like a speaker toy. Hi guys, it is December 30th and I know I haven't been the best vlogger. However, I just figured I'd put something out there. So I am by myself today and I'm sorry I'm at an angle. Um, it's because this is the only place in my car I can find a spot for the phone. I went to the cookie corner. I'm at Milani right now. I know I can get this closer to home. However, I had met up with a dear friend and did a quick um, gift exchange. I'm upset at the fact that I dropped these friggin' cookies. So um, I'm gonna try one because I've been wanting them 
for a while now. So this is a brownie cookie. And I believe all cookie corners might be a little bit different. Um, because, I don't know, I feel like they'll have some different specials. But I got a bunch. So um, I love brownies. So of course, I want to try this. Mmm. Hmm. Chocolatey, beautiful, everything you'd expect a brownie cookie to be like. Hmm. Hmm. The cookie corner is supreme. Um, I. Mm. Mm. I don't crave cookies as often, but because I've had a stomach bug off and on that um, I wasn't able to get some of these cookies and sorry, not quite milk or anything, but I've always been a drink your cookies with water kind of gal. I'm going to be heading home. I am going to film what I got for my birthday slash Christmas gift video and I'll check in with you guys later. Hi guys, so I'm back at home from the gift exchange with one of my dear friends and I am embarrassed to say and show this to you guys but my dressing room is a hot mess. I just finished filming a video so... <laughs> Now I have to put it away and I am, like I said, low-key embarrassed to show this to you guys. But I did move some things around. So with one of my videos where I talked about, mm, it's about what I got for Christmas and my birthday. I did get a little print that I put out. If you hear some sounds, that's just Miss Millie exploring per usual. Um, also, before I start cleaning, I did want to show you guys Miss Millie's holiday card. It's so, so cute. This is Miss Millie, uh, and it's this iridescent foil. Some of you guys haven't received it yet. Some of my friends haven't received it yet, but this... So I'm so sorry if that ruined the surprise. So I hope you closed your eyes or something, but look at that. So it is foiled in iridescent, and we took this picture of her um, at Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. They had these huge, like, little presents and we just happened to be there so we took this picture of her so adorable but I'm gonna speed through this cleaning and hopefully it looks good again for the new year anyway so I lost my fucking mind and my emotions they're trying to play me like the boy don't really know shit Sitting tears, now my eyes is like the ocean I'm sick and tired, but I'm addicted to the bullshit These days, bitches tryna play me like a fool with these contracts When I dropped out, I had to clear all my contacts 2020 saw my goals clear with no context Some motherfucker made it here and I'm still stressed And yeah, I'm still stressed Mama told me count my blessings, but I don't feel blessed now I'm on chill when I still ain't made a meal yet Still chasing dreams cause It is Fukubukuro time. 
So what that is, is select stores have these grab bags. You don't know what it is. It's a final sale. You buy it, you like it, you open it. It's like one of my favorite things. I love blind boxes and all that stuff. So let's get started. Just look sad if she don't run up Cut this Cartier like a stunner Don't know shut your house so I can't love her She gon' hit the road when shit gets harder Yeah, I'm gon' let this shit blame if you're not him Can't fuck with no face and they would never understand Hi guys, so I am back from the mall Well, I've been back and I did go to Fukubukuro at the Aomura Shopping Center. And, you know, I really did not think that it was going to still be as big as it was, considering this is something that they've been doing for a while now. And um, that not a lot of retailers have participated this year. Um, so there was really two places I wanted to get uh, Fuku... Uh, Fukubukuro bags from which was Le uh, which was L'Occitane and Big Island Candies I was successful with at least one spot and that was with uh, L'Occitane so this is what I'm going to share with you guys today and um, first of all though let me just quickly talk about what Fukubukuro is so every first day of the new year it is a Japanese tradition where in Japan, the retailers across the country, um, if they wanted to participate, what they were doing was putting it in lucky grab bags where it's items that is older season or things that they're maybe overstocked in that they want to sell to customers. So they can put out new products, push other new things. So it's basically to start anew. And what they do is all these grab bags have to be at a discount. So you can't put in full price items requesting for full price prices. <laughs> I did go to L'Occitane and I those are just my two places that I really wanted to go to. I ended up going, you know, through the mall. Well, yeah, I, I went a pretty good amount of places. Like, I passed by just to see if, you know, um, people were still waiting in line. People were sold out. And let me tell you, the lines were crazy. There was, was a line for a Hawaii surf shop called, it's either HIC or TNC. And that line wrapped around like crazy luckily that wasn't a place where i really would go to buy anything outside of yeti things for millie however um i did stop by places like sunglass hut who was doing it as well um i did not get a fukubukuro from sunglass hut however it did not stop me from buying something because they also had a promotion going on so we'll get to that in a little bit and there was another one so big island candies i wasn't successful with getting a fukubukuro bag from them i heard that they sold out literally as soon as they opened i would have to have been waiting an hour before opening if i really wanted to get one but i ended up getting something anyway which i'll show with you guys anyways and some other little things that I got as well. But um, let's get to opening this L'Occitane bag. So this is uh, t what the bag looks like. So there was, I think, five different bags there. I will insert the clip now. So I got the second to the highest. So this is the 150, which is valued at 305. Um, the only real things that I used from L'Occitane in the past was, of course, hand creams, body creams. Who hasn't heard of them with that type of things? Let's get to opening what's in this L'Occitane bag. The last um, time that I did Fukubukuro, was it last year? I'm not too sure. I might have missed last year. But we had a diptyque in the mall and that was one of the best Fukubukuro bags I've ever had throughout the years. So let's open it up. 
I'm just gonna dip in and grab whatever I see. I mean, grab whatever I grab because I've never seen it. Rose Cream Mains Hand Cream. Ooh, what a good way to start. Uh, Rose is one of my favorite, like most favorite scents. I apologize for the lighting, guys. It is not even, uh, the sun's not even down yet, but lighting's terrible. So I have, that's why I look a little blown out. Um, but, wow, got a beautiful Rose hand creams. You can never go wrong with hand creams. Next up, oh, what's this? Oh. It is a hand cream care gift set. Let's look at what's inside. So it comes with, ooh, it says oil to milk infused with, if I had to guess what this is, um, I would guess that this is cuticle oil, which a girl needs. A little baby version of their hand cream. And aqua thirst quenching gel. Looks like this. And you know your girl's hands are dry. Next is this verbena. If I had to guess, oh, it is a shower gel. Oh, sorry, I apologize for this lighting, guys. Not the best. And then on top of that, I'm wearing a freaking hat. Um, poor life choices. Uh, here we have a exfoliant. Oh, it's an exfoliating soap. Ooh, actually, I was looking for an exfoliator, so I am going to enjoy this. So we also got a hand cream and lip balm. Starting to see a lot of hand creams. Uh, rich body cream, nice. Immortal Reset Serum. So this was one of the things that I was hoping to get some type of serum. I do love serums quite a bit. If you've been watching my channel, you know that serums is one of my favorite things. The thing about this is I don't know if this is for your face. I want to say yes. Um, it's an oil in serum overnight reset. I just have to read it, but I'm pretty sure it is for your face. I do love serums and oils. And then we have Eyes and Lips by Faze. Um, I want to say, I'm not too sure what this is. Oh, it's an eye makeup remover. And you know what's kind of interesting and I've never noticed about this brand is that there is Braille. So I've never seen, I don't know if you can see it, if it pays off on camera, but they put Braille on it. So that's kind of neat. And the last few bits looks like more hand creams, which is, in my opinion, a little bit um, disappointing. That I mean, that is what they're known for, but I just don't think that this bag was diverse enough. So we do have um, more hand creams. I think this is four more hand creams but you can never go wrong i guess this is a sign that your girl's hands are extremely dry and um a fruity lipstick i would and that's it i'm gonna show you guys a quick b-roll but my overall thoughts about this Fukubukuro bag from L'Occitane is that, you know, it's not terrible. Um, they are known for their hand cream, so that is what they gave us in this bag. I definitely don't think it is diverse enough. I would love to have seen more beauty items in it um, because I know that they have it because they... I'm assuming this is beauty. This is an eye remover. You know, body things. I would love to see more. Um, I think... We got, what, two face things, two exfoliating soaps, a lotion, and then the rest is uh, one lip stick, which I actually 
I'm probably going to try to use. Look at this color. It's all like, like I said, the lighting's awful right now, so I don't know if you can even see that color. But overall, would I buy this bag again? Yeah. You know, if I was, if I am in dire need of um, hand cream and lotions, absolutely. Um, but again, I think it would be better if it was a little bit more diversified. Um, a lot of hand creams for sure but would have loved to see more face and body things um i probably would not buy one that was this expensive again maybe i'd probably buy a smaller one um because this is second to the most expensive one unless i was a huge fan of loxiton which i am a i like but not a huge fan of so that's that and then from Big Island Candies, well, and actually, I had to get face wash as well. So um, I, of course, you know, my favorite is from Mario Badescu. So I had to re-up on that because I forgot to when the Rouge uh, Sephora sale was going on. And I also got some Year of the Rabbit things from Big Island Big Island Candies. Um, out. That's one of my favorite touristy like treat spots. So if you ever are in Hawaii, just know that's something I would get. Um, I was also able to get this Kendrick Lamar item, uh, this album. Honestly, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I did not get it so much for the album as I did for the artwork because it has Nego artwork on it and I actually um this I don't, I don't hate Kendrick Lamar um so I would actually I really want to buy one of those like crossly things just because I think aesthetically that would be kind of cute and then I can just play some of these things um so random but look how cute this corgi card is uh, um a weakness of mine is going to a store, looking at cards, and seeing if there's corgi ones. And if there is, your girl will buy it because she made the mistake of not buying that really cute Halloween corgi card that I seen at Target. And I regretted it because it was funny. At least I took a picture though. And the last thing that I'm probably going to show you guys in a different video is I went to Sunglass Hut because they were doing Fukubukuro and their bags were super crazy on sale. Like for example, and it's different all across the board. So the thing about Lucky Grab Bags too is not every bag is going to be the same. Um, well, of course, Sunglass Hut is self-explanatory. So it's going to be sunglasses, uh, maybe multiple sunglasses in one, maybe one. But that's the cool thing about Lucky Bags is that you just never know. So the one bag that I had valued, I think, at about a close to $500. And the bag was only $150. So you're saving so much. So I, my thought process was to get something that was in the price range of the brand that I like. So they had Tiffany, Prada, uh, Gucci, Versace, you name it, they had it at that location that I was at. So that was my thought process. But then at the same time, I was like, it could be lower branded things and be multiple. So for example, there's Ray-Bans there, Carrera, so Burberry, they could have doubled up, you know what I mean? So um, instead of getting Fukubukuro bag, which, I did I ended up getting two pairs of sunglasses instead because they were running a buy one get one half off sale and I could not resist I'll just show you the boxes but I will probably talk about it on an, an another time but <laughs> Thank you.